Hi everyone. Right, as you can see, I've got this old bangle that I picked up. I think I paid about 20p for it at a car boot. I've got a polystyrene ball and a doily, a fancy doily, and some trim. And what I decided to do was to use the uh, polystyrene ball, cover that with the doily, making sure I centrised it properly with the base of the... Um, I turned the ball upside down to get the centre of the doily. Attach that and then continue to attach the doily onto the polystyrene ball um, equally. So start at one side, uh, match it with the other, uh, the opposite side. Just work carefully and slowly, no need to rush. Again, doing the opposite sides again, so it's uh, evens it out more. And then with the bits that were left, like a, it's it kind of like ends up as a square, round square, if you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it's just attach them to the ball itself uh, the best you can. I didn't want to cut them off. That would just be in a, a waste, but it helped fill um, the gap in the bangle or bracelet, whichever you want to call it. You can pick lots of those bracelets up uh, at Car Boots 10, 20p. Um, you need the deep ones because you can make those into pin cushions. Um, you can do all sorts with them. You can stack them and make yourself a tub, you know, like a pencil tub or something like that. There are lots of uh, videos out on these. But, you know, when I've got things to alter like that, I just, they're, they're really quick and easy projects. Um, so there are several different ones that I've done. Uh, and I just thought, well, hey, that's just sat there, need to get rid of it, you know, get it sorted. I can now send that on as a gift. But I wanted a distressed look. So I'm just working around the ball, make sure that um, everything's pinned down that has to be. And then as you can see, it left little bits that were stuck out. Um, I tried um, to pin them down and I thought, no, that's not going to look right. So what I decided to do was to cut those out and then um, flatten it a little bit more. See, they're starting to bug me now, so that's what I wanted to do. So I just cut that little circle out of the doily. And then glued the two sections together. Didn't take very long to do. I'm not sure if I can actually um, see it. With it being a white ball and a white doily. Maybe I should have used a different colour. But I didn't want the white showing through. On a you know a darker shade of doily, but it didn't match on a white one. You know, and these are just really quick projects that anyone can do. Beginner doesn't matter. You know, get a polystyrene ball. You, you can even do it with a tennis ball, um, although your pins won't stick into it. But if you just wanted it for show. Um, well, you could actually put your, uh, your um, stick pins into a, a ball, Ro a foam ball, rubber ball, whatever you want to use, whatever you've got available. Make yourself a paper mache one by blowing up a balloon and then that way you can have a different shape one. This actually um fitted in with the size of the bangle but the ball itself could be bigger it doesn't have to be small uh, the same size or smaller it's whatever you want to do 
you can see I'm just pulling the bits together just to close that gap You do get glued up. As you can see, my hands are full of, uh, fingers are always full of glue. But I'm used to it. But it does hurt. So um, if you're not used to hot glue. Now what I'm doing, just sizing it up in the uh, bangle and then what I'm going to do is to paint the uh, bracelet. It already has a nice pattern to it, but I wanted it distressed. So to do the distressing, paint it with white acrylic paint. Um, and then just use a damp cloth to dry it off a little bit but then use a damp cloth to rub over it and you get that distressed look. Obviously, if you do it while it's wet, uh, then you're going to wipe all the paint off. So dry it off um, till it's almost done and then use a damp cloth just to rub over it and you get the distressed look. I'm just about to dry that off a little bit. Doesn't take long. The heat gun I'm using, I bought at Samuel Taylor's and um, heat it up, I think it makes it. When they first came out, um, well, I had a white one that was gifted to me and then I renewed it and bought another one after that wore out. And they were used to cost about 20, 24 pound, uh, but they've gone down now quite a bit. Um, and now you can get them in black. I think you can actually get them in different colours, but Samuel Taylor's, um, if you in and about Leeds, it's Roseville Road yeah, in Leeds, uh, where we've got our Samuel Taylor's. And look, just a damp cloth, rubbing over it again. If the paint starts to dry a little bit, just wet your cloth a bit more. I just dabbed it in the water. If you take too much off, you can always go back over it. A little bit more on that side. Now fully dry it. I love furniture like that, uh, that's uh, dark wood underneath being painted and then you just rub it down. It's uh, just the distress look is just absolutely fantastic in it. But then I do have a video showing you how to get that distress look um, by using glue and ink.
uh, which was my uh, father who taught me how to do it to distress old furniture or furniture to look like it's old should I say um, so if I can find that video I shall link it to this one Now what I'm doing is just adding a little bit of glue around the edge, just slightly underneath the ball uh, where it meets the uh, bangle, the bracelet, and that will hold that in. But also I'm going to be putting some trim on it and that will also hold that in. Now while we continue, um, the next thing I'm going to be doing is making a frayed strip. Uh, I'm just using a canvas. You can buy this also at uh, market stalls and um, oh, lots of different places. Anywhere that sells material you can buy that. Um, it's quite a thick canvas and once you start peeling the strands off, then you can start leveling it you know leveling it up i mean i haven't cut mine exactly straight but i get it straight by um peeling back the strands and then trimming it until i've got it all the same there you go just peel back the strands you can see where i need to trim it a little bit Which is what I'm doing now. Once you've got them level, then you can start and you know keep peeling back the um, fiber, the strand, until you get the fray how you want it, the f length and everything. And like I said, these are only quick and easy projects that um, use up odds and sods. Um, like I say, cost I think 20p for the bangle. Um, I think the polystyrene ball I also bought uh, for I think it was 10p at a car boot. Whenever I see them, I always get them. If I see any polystyrene, always buy the shapes because you never know what you can do with it. Now what I'm doing is just gluing that little section on. Uh, and then attaching it will attach both the ball and the bangle together like that now, I don't glue it all the way around but I glue you know about three three quarters of the way I think adding glue to the bangle and the ball and then pressing the trimming firmly around it evening it out as I go and this will definitely bond the two items together I think I need to position my camera a little bit differently. Sorry about that, but uh, you get the gist of it anyway. It's just a really quick video. 
I've got several of them that I did yesterday. Um, as well to put up. So I'm going to put them up and then um, take a break. I've got a little bit of uh, fancy trim. It's like a rose trim. Just making sure I've got the right amount that I need for the project. When you're working, it's hard to remember to keep things in the frame. It really is hard. Um, I actually think I need to pull the camera up a little bit so that it's all. I know that the square that I use, um, you know, as long as my hands are within that square, you can see. But I think it's a little bit low now with the camera. I need to pop it uh, back up again. When you firmly affix the trim on it, then you can fluff up all the frayed edges that you've done. Now, there is a little technique you can use if you've got some... Um, fabric stiffener if you brush that onto the frayed edge and you know like i've just got that brushed all down with my fingers then go over it with a brush and some fabric stiffener eventually they will stay put they won't um lay flat again so um that's just a little tip for you now i'm just gonna i decided to put a flower on it um i have some nice fabric flowers uh, they're not the normal fabric flowers. These are the ones that you put in a jar. You buy them in on stems and that. And I absolutely love them. And I just thought, you know what? I need a little bit of a background for them. I will just add two or three um, on my project. And leave it like that. And they are quite pretty. I use them a lot. But love the doily. It really did look nice. Um, or really does look nice, should I say, on the project. I think I was just fishing out the flowers because I don't always have everything in front of me. I know people say, well, you should be, you should be a professional. It's nothing to do with that. You craft how you want to craft. And if you want to film yourself doing it, film yourself. You don't always have to have it looking professional. Um I'm not doing it as a professional video. I'm doing it as a video to share with people. But uh, we do get some people that moan. <laughs> so um, if I was doing it as a professional video, you'd be paying for it. But this is going in with the free ones. See, I feel while I've done that, it's not quite there. It's um, It needed another couple, but a slightly different colour. Um, and so what I did, I decided to put a very pale pink flower either side of the big one. And you'll see that in a minute. See, I'm pondering. Um, and when I ponder, that means it's not quite right for me. Uh, and I also change the centre. I wanted a little diamante put in there. I may actually change that for a bigger one because I think a bigger one would have gone well with it.
and giving it the thumbs up, but I wasn't happy with it. Um, the flower just didn't seem right on its own. So I popped off to get another two to go with it. Of a pale pink, like I said before. And it just gave it that uh, extra... The voom, you want to call it? Whatever you want to call it. It gave it an extra look and it looked better. I was quite happy with it when I finished. They're a very similar style flower. These were just a... Um, a pale pink and they are like a silk flower as well so uh, straight away you saw the difference and it, I knew I'd done the right thing <laughs> 